I want to start off by just saying thank you to all the competitors that come to Tyler. We're proud to put this on. This is our ninth year in a row to, to host the Combat Challenge. And, you know, firefighting is a big family, and, and we just feel like all y'all are part of our family. And it's, this, like I said, ninth year, and we've got to know a lot of you, and we really appreciate y'all coming. But I really, we can't do this without these sponsors that help us do this. And this is a yearly thing, and, you know, you got to depend on people, and they're just always there. So I, I want to take this time to just mention these guys. It's Brookshire's, our Super One Foods, City of Tyler, the Low T Center here in town, the Tyler Convention Visitors Bureau, ETMC, Metro Fire, Holiday Inn South Broadway, the Genico Group, Southside Bank, the Tyler Lodging Association, Firetech, Austin Bank, Tyler City Employees Credit Union, Sport Tyler, Sudden Link, Traditions, the Water Park at the Villages, Broadway Square Mall, and Thrill Killed Insurance. So, I, you know, if we could just give them folks, we, we got to have them, you know. They're just, uh, and you know, it, we get to know everybody, even the sponsors, and they never hesitate. They always, they, they love the firefighting family, you know, from all over the United States, so we appreciate them. And at this time, I want to just take one more minute, and I'd like for Brent Hale to come up here right quick. Brent, come on. I just want y'all to know that it takes everybody, and Brent has been an integral part of our Combat Challenge program here in Tyler. We thought it was time that he got a plaque in front of all you guys and embarrass him because he don't want nothing. Brent's, you know, firefighters, we've all got that warrior spirit and a good heart, and we don't need a lot of recognition. And Brent's the same way, but he's going to have to take this. So, Brent Hale, for your time and commitment to the ninth annual Brookshire's Firefighter Combat Challenge, it is through your vision that this event has been such a success. Thank you for your sacrifice and dedication to the city of Tyler. We appreciate you, Brent. My brother. Thank you. My name's Jeremy Driver, work for the Tyler Fire Department, and I uh, was first introduced to the Combat Challenge just by seeing it uh, here in the mall parking lot, hearing about it in the news, and I um, wasn't a firefighter at the time, and I looked at it and I thought, you know what, it doesn't look that tough. I'd like to do that someday, because I was uh, into endurance training and things like that, riding uh, long uh, bike rides, doing long runs, and uh, was interested in that kind of training. And then I was, became a firefighter here in Tyler. Enjoyed it. Love everything about this fire department. It's a great city to work for. And uh, joined up with the Firefighter Combat Challenge team. Uh, first race was, was a rude awakening. I didn't think I was going to be able to finish it. Uh, luckily, my family was here to cheer me on because I don't even know if I could have finished it. But it was very, very strenuous, very tough, very taxing. It's unbelievable how taxing it is. It's a short race. The, short, uh, the race is, uh, we try to run this race, the complete course in two minutes or less, uh, on air with an air pack, about 60 pounds of gear. And we try to do all that in under two minutes. That's our goal. Anything under that is a, an accomplishment. And uh, first race, I ran a 2.30. 
237, and I gradually over the years chipped it down to a minute 45 seconds. That was the fastest time, and uh, it was just it's something that challenges us throughout the year to work out, and it, that in turn is beneficial to our job. We're working out all the time to prepare for the firefighter challenge at the end of the year, and we get ready for that all year long. So throughout the year, we're just conditioning ourselves so that any time there's a fire or a wreck or any kind of emergency here in the city of Tyler, we are physically prepared to do our jobs uh, at a high end. Tyler, Texas. Huh? Get ready. We're going to turn it loose for you. This is a crowd that is the U.S. national champion in the old boys. He draws them up. Here we go. They go to your hats and home. 